So in this video, you're going to learn how to use LinkedIn to market your business, whether you're a beginner, whether you're just getting started, or you just need to improve your approach. LinkedIn has come a long way and it's gonna become even more popular, especially across B2B. And believe me, if you do LinkedIn marketing right, you'll definitely get traction comfortably. Even if you're a beginner with LinkedIn marketing, stick around because I'm gonna give you five tips that will actually help you ensure you increase your chances of success in deploying LinkedIn as part of your marketing strategy. Oh, and if you're liking the content here on Growth Vertical, I'd appreciate if you smash that like button because that will actually help the YouTube algorithm push the video to the users that actually genuinely need this information to get started. So back to it. In my previous video, I actually talked about why you should be using LinkedIn and why it's actually so important, an important social media marketing strategy to add to your overall marketing strategy. But the focus of this video is in how to actually use LinkedIn to market your business and what you should actually do on the platform and what you should actually, what your approach should be to actually getting started so that you can ensure that you're more successful going forward with using LinkedIn marketing as part of your social media marketing strategy or as part of your just overall marketing strategy. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing I wanna cover is that you might think that you need to set up a profile first, but you actually need to have a plan, right? You need to make sure you do your research. So before you even start setting up your profile, you need to know exactly what you want to be doing on the platform. What is your goal? Is it brand awareness? What is your goal? Is it generating leads? Is it generating sales? Is it just maybe getting some partnerships through the door? Is it hiring people? You know, there's so many different goals that you can have, and this is what you need to highlight first. Creating a plan and strategy to execute on LinkedIn, as well as deciding on the target audience you're going after, will actually play a big part in how you position your profile, the natural personality that you'll showcase, and the keywords that you're going to be using. And just to be clear, to successfully actually leverage LinkedIn to market your business, your personality will come from your profile. So your profile will be your personality. It's important that your profile showcases what you need it to, so you can attract the right target audience to your business. And this is why research is important beforehand. We're going to elaborate on this in the next point. So this second one is part of the extension of the research, right? You need to find and build buyer personas. And in building out your buyer personas, you will actually identify who your primary target audience would be, who your secondary target audience would be, and so on, if you have any further. You need to build personas because they are your customer profiles. Whether you want to just interact with someone in general to build a partnership, to form some form of professional bond, or even if you just want to generate lead for future purposes. But the idea behind building custom profile is, is so that you don't punch too broad and so that you can actually save a lot of your time, which is a lot of money saved at the end of the day and you can actually start building that sort of portfolio what their likes their dislikes are where you can see they're asking questions does it point to any challenges they have does it point to any needs or wants are there any frustrations or pain points where do they spend most of their time so as part of your research you can actually understand what the target audience is doing on LinkedIn itself right so you can go and fill out the basic information you need for the profile now wait, I know I said you're not gonna build out the profile, I'm not telling you to build it out, I'm just telling you to do the bare minimum so you can actually start using LinkedIn and identifying your potential customers, going out there and using that as part of your research, right? There's a lot of information to be found on LinkedIn on how they're interacting and what, what your target audiences are doing, what groups they're a part of, are they commenting about certain things, what sort of content do they like engaging with, find out the people they are connected to and who they are interacting with, whether they have a difference with the type of content that they create and share themselves and the type of content that they curate. Do they have an interest in webinars that people should join? Do they love infographics? Do they love data about a particular industry or do they have external interests in other industries? These are all the sort of things that you should be able to pick up on as you go along and you can actually use that to insert yourself into a conversation, especially where you resonate because as soon as you've found something that you align with, that your interests actually align with theirs, then you are already on a roll to actually building a relationship and building a rapport on the platform itself that will help you nurture that relationship going forward. Now this may be an obvious one but as much as you should be using LinkedIn itself to actually go ahead and build out your personas look at how they're engaging off the platform like mentioned in the research phase right really understand what your target are also doing away from LinkedIn right so 
away on external platforms. So aside from the professional network, you can actually, as part of your initial research phase, look externally, right, to find that information. You can actually go ahead and look at other social media platforms like Facebook, like Twitter, you can look at forum style platforms like Quora, like Reddit. You can even look at other forums like industry forums or professional forums that you are part of that they might also have a connection in. You can also look at digital publications, right? What sort of publications do they look at? What sort of things do they read online in terms of news? Where do they go and get their news from? This is actually insane, but a lot of decision makers actually do get involved in providing industry related content nowadays. So they go ahead and add to forums. They also add to guest publications, guest posting on blog sites. There's so many things that they do now and that positions them as an authority in their industry. And the idea is, is that you find those patterns so that you can find a way to align your interests or find that interest that you align with so you can insert yourself into the conversation and generate value or add value to the conversations. That's another touch point that you can add to your marketing strategy. If you've never created any buyer personas to represent your target customers, don't worry. I've created a base template for you to fill out which will have all the key criteria in uh, and it's pretty straightforward to fill out when you're actually migrating your research into creating your customer profile. You can actually find a link to it in the description below where you can actually request a copy. By the way, guys, if you're liking this content so far and you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell too so that you make sure that you don't miss out on any future video. So now with tip number three, you need to actually go ahead and create your profile. You need to go and update your profile and more so, you need to optimize your profile. So your profile should be tailored to what you're good at. It puts a service, a offering or product, or even your skills to a face. That's what gives your offering personality. You'll showcase your abilities, your skills, your talents, all to display credibility. And you can also go ahead and add any certifications you had that will build more credibility. So you wanna actually go ahead and add details to build on past experiences, showcase to people what you've actually achieved what sort of projects you've worked on, any, any keynotes or presentations that you wanna showcase, make sure you make them available so that people can click through and check out the work you've done. People need to know exactly what you do and what you offer as soon as they land on your profile. That's how you should actually set up your profile. Now, the way to do this is by using the right keywords from the get-go. Think of it like the Google search engine where someone goes ahead and types in a search query based on their intent, right? What are they looking for? Maybe they're looking for lead generation services for small startups, for consumer electronics companies. You get the drift. In that moment, someone could actually go ahead and type in particular keywords that revolve around finding the right skilled person in a particular industry. They could be looking for your help. They could be looking for someone with your skill set. So when someone puts those keywords in, your profile will be the first one to pop up right at the top of the search results on LinkedIn. Tip number four, so you're gonna go ahead and utilize all that research that you did, and you're gonna go ahead and create content, share it, post it on LinkedIn itself. As mentioned in my previous video, this will allow you to take advantage of the LinkedIn algorithm and in the fact that it allows you to actually gain more visibility than any other social platform out there, especially if you're in the B2B industry. Using your research to actually create and post content will attract the audiences that that research came from. If you think about the likes and dislikes from that research, that will attract those key audiences you were analyzing, those patterns that you picked up on. Now, the algorithm will actually pick up on who likes engaging with that content. They already have data on that sort of stuff. What if that is yours? Because you've already done the homework. That content will get pushed in front of that user and that will be an initial touch point into actually connecting with that target customer. Your content will actually also show what you like, what you dislike. You'll be building personality on the platform. The algorithm would actually learn what sort of industry they should place you in or what sort of pockets of engagement groups that you should be pushed into. And this will allow you to line up with the right audiences and you can actually go ahead and find more connections that way too. The content that you're going to post and share shouldn't just be from the research aimed at getting target customers. Ensure that your content actually adds value and it doesn't just come across as very sales-like. Curation of content is just as important as creation of content. This overall will position you as an authority. It will complement your skill set, your profile. You'll be able to utilize each other's networks. Oh, and by the way, don't, don't just like every single post and think that you've added value. That's, that's just not how it works. And don't comment nice or just 
always like good work or almost boring things to add to a conversation. They don't really add any value. That's not good, don't do that. <laughs> so remember, only valuable addition to the conversation. That's what you should be focusing on and that will actually propel your profile forward into the right networks and you'll actually be building better report. You'll become more successful in your strategy. Number five, what you should do is add LinkedIn to your outbound activity so you can use your outbound activity more strategically, right? So for example, you can use LinkedIn's feed to actually go ahead and build report in. You've gone and actually already engaged with the content and you've had a conversation and you've might have even identified a need. So now the best thing you can do here is actually go ahead and reach out to them so that you can identify whether a product or service is actually of need and if you can actually go ahead and provide value to them, right? If you can actually go ahead and help them solve the issue that they are having and whether there's an actual need for your product, service or even that partnership that you're looking for, are they looking for something similar? So in terms of integrated outbound strategies, you might be using email or cold calling as well to go ahead and book meetings or generate leads or even just have these later conversations when you've identified or built some report or you're just initially reaching out to someone. Well, what if you creatively used LinkedIn as part of that, right? You might want to use LinkedIn to actually go ahead and build some report within the feed, then move over to private message. Then you realize that you've actually built enough report and you managed to get an email or a phone number and then you can migrate the conversation to a more personal channel where you know you can deal in a more professional setting as to whether they would require your product or service or whether they would want to actually have a demo of whatever you're offering or if they want to discuss a partnership or a brand deal further. So guys, these were the LinkedIn marketing tips that I wanted to share on how you can actually use LinkedIn to market your business. This system will get you started on the LinkedIn platform. This has worked for many marketers out there. It's worked for myself and I'm sure it'll definitely have a positive impact on your business. So if you like today's video and you'd like to see more, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions at all or you wanna see specific content, just go ahead and comment them below. Oh, and I run a weekly newsletter where I actually share my thoughts and advice on digital marketing and I share some promotions on some really cool tools that could actually help you grow your business. So if you do want to subscribe to that, then go ahead and find the link of that in the description below and you can subscribe there. But thanks for watching. I'll definitely see you guys soon. Take care.